Right, well, I thought I had a real brainwave, and uh, when I looked things up, it's all been done before, many times by the looks of it, but I thought I'd uh, see if I could investigate putting an electric power steering into the MGA, and uh, so I got on the internet, and lo and behold, uh, yeah, there's a lot of information there. Most of it seems to be um, done with a uh, Toyota Yaris, steering box and uh, so I went out and sourced one of those at the local record this morning uh, paid $50 for it and uh, got that home and looking at the setup it doesn't look like it's going to be uh, a real difficult sort of a project to, to get it up and running right well here's the item in question um, you've got your electric uh, motor there, some sort of a well, gearbox sort of an arrangement there I guess the shaft that goes down to the steering uh, rack arrangement and the uh, steering wheel end here uh, by retaining this uh, mechanism here you'll uh, get a little bit of up and down Move, uh, adjustment on the column plus in and out uh, over about uh, six inches or so so I'm going to leave that in place uh, don't need all this uh, uh, ignition business here although there is a steering lock mechanism in there it would be nice to be able to uh, retain that but I don't see how that can happen at the moment and it is uh, quite a bulky sort of a thing uh, probably get in the way uh, but apparently what you do is off this front bracket here make another little bracket that bolts up on the two bottom bolts uh, of the master cylinder that comes through the firewall and using the existing one there I think uh, I'll be able to graft a uh, plate onto the bottom of the existing uh, steering column mount uh, that uh, bolts up under the cowl. So that part of it doesn't look all that, that difficult. You've got your power uh, wires there for the motor, quite a heavy uh, uh, electrical cord there and I think this little one here is uh, something to do with the variable speed sensor which uh, when operating uh, the uh, degree of assistance eases off uh, as you get a little bit of speed up um, I believe there's a s sensor that you can get that uh, you mount on the uh, tail shaft just for the uh, the diff uh, that senses the uh, speed of the tail shaft and uh, but I'll have to look into that bit of it uh, I'm not really 100% uh, sure how that all works at this point in time but I did find on Barney's site MGA Guru uh, some information on how to install this, uh, albeit in the left hand drive car, but right hand drive shouldn't be that much different really. So I'm going to read up on that. I think there's a bit of information there as well on the variable speed sensor arrangement. So I'll have a look at that and see how we can go with it. But all in all, it doesn't look like it's going to be a very difficult sort of a uh, project to get up and running <laughs> this is the side after the steering uh, gearbox uh, now that runs down to the to the part of the shaft that comes out of the steering rack I'm not really sure how I'm going to go about this but uh, uh, Quite possibly I might retain this universal joint which uh, will take any guesswork out of the alignment um, so I might have to 
get the original shaft cut down and possibly a spline cut in it to uh, connect up with that. Uh, a friend of mine's got a mill set and he reckons he can cut splines so that might be the way to go. Um, how I'd go putting the outer case over that uh, steering rod uh, with that universal joint there I don't know if uh, you took it out the outer black outer case could go right up to, to that point there but anyway that's uh, that's part of uh, the future I guess uh, working out how we're going to do this and uh, the other little issue is the end here for the where the steering wheel uh, connects onto those splines it's a different size to the original MGA steering wheel it's quite a lot smaller so I don't know 100% uh, what I'm going to do there whether I get another wheel and put a smaller smaller steering wheel on it now that we've got this assisted steering we'll wait and see but I do like the original wheel uh, although it is a little bit on the big side and we won't be needing that uh, 15 inch diameter with uh, this set up in the car right so in the modification now of the <coughs> mountings for the new power steering I'm going to modify the existing bracket and to do that I've mounted it up in the car and I've worked out that uh, because that's on an angle up here uh, a straight cut or a level cut will be on that angle there so what I plan to do is cut that off at that point and I'm going to make a bracket out of uh, this I think this is about uh, two mil sheet steel and that will bolt on to there this bit will be turned up on a 90 degree angle and grafted onto there so that should be quite strong um, <clears throat> hopefully the existing old bracket will be strong enough because the uh, original steering steering column wasn't as heavy as the new one but having said that uh, this is also attached to the firewall with a fairly hefty uh, mounting bracket under the back of the master cylinder bolts so all in all it should be okay so I'll do that now and uh, see how that turns out and give you a look at that well there's that little bracket there modified now with that uh, flat plate uh, going pretty pretty much across in the right direction and the steering rear of the steering column will get bolted onto that so all that looks uh, as if it's going to be in the right place so I'll pull that out give it a bit of uh, paint drill a couple of holes in it and uh, that'll be that uh, piece finished and out of the way I've started to make the brackets for the uh, firewall so I'll give you a look at those that's the little bracket that will bolt to the firewall and onto the existing mount like so so, that, so that'll be kind of sitting sitting up like that if you can sort of get a bit of an idea what's happening there uh, and two holes through the top of that into the bottom holes on the uh, master cylinder bracket so uh, that's all coming together I think that's going to uh, work I've, I've yet to actually line it all up 
Uh, the, so I haven't drilled any holes in through there yet, uh, or there. So uh, I'll, I'll leave those until I have a um, preliminary fit up so we get it all correct. But uh, yep, getting underway with it. Uh, I think that's going to be the easy part. Um, joining the, the shaft, existing shaft, to, uh, to that's going to be interesting. I believe you're not allowed to uh, do any welding on these things in this state. So I might have to get a little collar turned up. Uh, that part of the shaft and, and the existing one are about the same size. So I might have to get a little collar turned up to slip over both of them and put a bolt through and uh, comply with the, the rules that way. Anyway, well, nice to be seen. Um, I uh, believe there's a chap on the Gold Coast that's done a few of these, so I might consult him on it initially and see how we go from there. Okay, I'll call that a wrap for, the, for this one and uh, I'll have a part two for the uh, rest of the installation later. Thanks for watching and uh, we're well underway with this little project.